Peace, y'all. I am ICC, and today I have something different. This is an HDMI wireless adapter. This is good if you want to capture Android game footage or even iPhone game footage. This was sent to me, and I will do a tutorial right now. So the first thing we want to do with our Anycast is take the supplied cable, plug that in, and then head over to the source that we want to use it at. Next, we come over to our HDMI port and we plug in the Anycast. Next, we take the USB. I'm gonna plug it into my TV. That way it's powered every time I turn the TV on. But you don't have to use the USB on your TV. Any powered USB, you could use your phone charger if you want. But I'm just gonna keep it nice and simple and do that. Next, you wanna put the antenna somewhere where it's at least accessible, not blocked. Then let's turn on the TV. Okay, now that the TV's powered up, you can see at the top there is an SSID and a password. It says PSK. So, we want to go to our phone and connect to the SSID that you see at the top. Pull up your Wi-Fi. I'm going to connect to Anycast. Type in your password. Now I am connected. So the next step on the same device, you need to connect the Anycast IP that is on the screen. In my case, it is 192.168.203.1. Then you will need to click internet. On this one, you need to connect to your home network. Once it refreshes, once it actually shows the networks, connect to your network. I've already typed in my password. You guys don't need to know my password anyways. So connect to the network. And I am now connected. So the next thing you wanna do now, come up to screen mirroring and connect to your device. You will see the device show up. You may have to refresh so once you see your device listed, you can click it and connect to it, and you're pretty much good to go. Once it's connected, you will see it display on the TV. Okay, for Android devices, what you will want to do is change it to Miracast mode. If you are on AirPlay mode, there is a button on the device that you can press to switch the modes. Android is very easy to hook up. It's a lot different than iPhone. Once you press the button, you will see it switch to Miracast. Okay, now that our device is in Miracast mode, all we want to do is go to screen mirroring and connect to our device. I've already connected to it, so we will automatically connect. But when connecting with an Android device, you do not have to connect to the device itself. You can stay on your home network, just pull down the menu, go to screen mirroring, and it will be on. One thing I do recommend is turn on your screen rotation so the screen can rotate and you will have a full wide screen. Besides that, you're pretty much good to go. So once you have it on the TV, it will look like this. I have this running through the cap card so you can capture your footage. But yeah, anyways, thumbs up for the 8-bit guy, as you can see the video right there. But yeah, I just wanted to show you guys that it does work. I will do a review on it later on, but for now, here is the tutorial, and there it's set up and everything. If you guys have any tips or any tricks for me, feel free to leave a comment. Anyways, y'all, I am ICC. Thanks for watching. Peace.